Hello everyone and welcome to a new video by Less Tax Debate. Today we're going to be in zero and looking at quotes or estimates and how you can send them out and then convert them to invoices and generally do that. So if you do big big jobs that you need to send estimates out, we'll cover that in this video. But just before I do, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel. So if you're returning, big thumbs up to yourselves. Also, if you'd like to drop a like, then hit that button if you'd like to subscribe if you're new here subscribe and if you'd like to drop a comment even if it's just to say thank you or that was great please do but let's get into the video so we're in our dashboard and as you can see we want to send out a quote slash estimate now all we have to do is go to business at the top and then to quotes and that'll bring up our quotes list so what we want to do is do a new quote. Now we might have to set up the company. I'll just do ABC Furniture, that's fine. The quote date now and the quote expiry date. So we will do plus 30 days. So it's generally the quote. Uh, what we can then do is give it a reference number. So we can give it ABC01. Theme is standard, that's fine. Item, depends on what item that you want to do. If there's no item, then we'll give it a description and I'll give this an accountancy support for fixing issues with zero. And then I can keep typing, typing, typing. And I go quantity one, unit price is a thousand pounds. The account is sales. Tax rate is that. Okay. So then what I can do is I can save it. Save and continue or save and add a number. So if I just save it and that's all done now I can view the quote here if I just click on it and it'll give me the quote now what I can also do is options no, print print it as a PDF so just to give you an idea so here's the quote here as you can see it's a draft quote cancer support fixing issues dates, quote numbers and everything else. It gives you that ability so you can see what they are. Now what we want to do is we want to mark a cent. So that's fine. Yeah. So that's now been sent to the client. We've said it's been sent. Um, it's not a draft anymore. And now what we want to do is we want to go back into it. So we get the phone call. Yeah, I want to, want to accept the quote. So then we click on quote itself now we have the option to mark it as accepted or decline so if we mark it as accepted okay nice one quote has been accepted by ABC furniture okay now what we then have is the last option which is we then create the invoice okay but if I actually go back to the quote before creating the invoice you'll see here it's been moved from draft and sent into the accepted so this means it's been accepted we've got to do the work We've done the work and now we come to actually invoice it. And again, like always with the rest of them, it's a very, very simple process. Create the invoice. It'll create the invoice with you. Okay. And that's the invoice created. Okay. So now you just need to put a due date in, generally seven days. And that's the invoice approved. This is on the old invoicing system. Uh, you can switch it to the new invoice system if you wanted to. Uh, it's just a bit more graphical. So it's just showing that it's waiting for payment. I can say it's sent. That's fine. So it's just now waiting for payment. Okay, and I can preview the invoice here if I wanted to. There you go. That's the invoice there. Previewing how it would appear on the phone. And that's it. It's a very, very simple process. Uh, it's a very simple solution to actually sending out the quotes you've just got to be very descriptive in what you write that's all uh, you send them out people come back to you go yeah that's fine I accept it and then you can move on from there and obviously then invoice it and get paid for the work that you do so if you're doing the construction industry and you're doing a lot of work for a private client and they want to know what you're doing it's very good in that aspect if you're in the IT accountancy industry it really works for most industries that you you offer a service because they might be asking you for a particular project and this is where this comes very very handy but like i said at the start of the video i want to give a big thumbs up to everyone that's coming back and watching these videos and using them and using the tips that we say it's a big big help for you but it's also a big help for me to understand that you're coming back and you find these useful so really really big thumbs up to yourselves 
Uh, also to the people that all like these videos and drop comments, that's very, very greatly appreciated. More than you'll ever know because it shows that again, the content that we're doing is being seen, is being liked. People are posting questions, which I encourage if they've got any queries with the particular video of any of the steps that we've gone through. Um, and it also helps us with our, the YouTube algorithm as well. So keep doing that, keep coming back, and until next time, stay safe.